Driving along Comox Road will take you to a place where the people express their spirit and culture through art. Andy Everson expresses his thoughts and feelings using technology, a new medium to deliver his cultural message. We live in a modern world, um, and the way that we view artwork is is a lot different than it used to be viewed in our culture in the past. In the past, artwork was um, to show our crest, to show our um, to show our legends. One of my objectives when doing artwork is to to create pieces that um, that people can relate to that might not have um, cultural knowledge from our area. Charlie Johnson's cultural visions come to life using traditional tools. The handle part is actually a tree limb. That's, you can see that this is actually the tree and this is the limb off the tree. So, And it's uh, used like you were seeing me doing earlier just to remove a lot of excess wood. And until you need your fine, fine carving tool, this is the major tool that has been used. Northwest Coast Native Art created physically by hand and electronically that tell the stories and myths that define their people are showcased at the IHOS Gallery in the Courtney Comox region of Vancouver Island. House Gallery has a real good reputation with the people in the Comox Valley, not just with the people on the Comox Reserve, but the Comox Valley in a whole. And they have high respect for the Comox people. And when they're looking for authentic native artwork, House Gallery is going to be first on their list to come see.